An angry attorney general fires back against the media, critics, and a solicitor that he assigned to oversee a corruption investigation in South Carolina. Attorney General Alan Wilson says solicitor David Pasco overstepped his bounds and did not follow the law when he initiated grand jury proceedings. 7 News reporter Dave Jordan is in Columbia now with the very latest on this complicated story. Dave. Well, Gordon, all of this started after they were looking into legislative corruption. In fact, you may remember that it was House Speaker Bobby Harrell who had to resign after he admitted misappropriating funds and because he was indicted. Now, Attorney General Wilson says Solicitor David Pasco was never his first, second, third, fourth, or fifth choice to lead this investigation, but he says he was a competent solicitor, so he signed off on him handling the case, and he has now come to regret that decision. Now, there was a press conference earlier when Alan Wilson spoke out. He believes Pasco may have been responsible for numerous leaks to the media and the case, and he also raised eyebrows on how he says Pasco handled information relevant to that case. But the final straw, he says, happened over the weekend when he learned that Pasco initiated a grand jury investigation and did not contact him. Here's what Wilson had to say about that. Multiple leaks to the media as well as unlawfully attempting to initiate a state grand jury investigation behind our backs have made trust impossible and have tainted Mr. Pasco as the prosecutor on this matter. Now, grand jury law, in grand jury law indicates that two signatures are needed for an investigation to proceed. The chief of SLED has to sign off on it, and so does Attorney General Wilson. Again, Wilson says he was not contacted by Pasco in that regard. So Wilson has asked Pasco to step down. Pasco says he will not step, step down, and we did reach out to Pasco within the last half hour. We have not heard from him. We left him a message. We expect to hear back at some point, Gordon. You get the sense, Dave, he might have a lot to say about this as well. I, I, is this about control, yeah. Dave? I, I mean, is this about somebody trying to call a, a grand jury and the attorney general feels left out? Is that what's really going on here? Well, you know, Wilson spoke about that. He said that he had been maligned throughout this entire investigation, which, of course, as you know, dates back to 2013, 2014. He says this is not about control. This is strictly about following grand jury law. Now, the interesting thing about it is that Wilson says he will, he would have signed that grand jury declaration or that inquiry into opening up a grand jury investigation, and he says he's willing to sign it now as long as he can find a solicitor who he believes is untainted by all of this. Now, you may they also remember that none of the solicitors that they wanted to handle this investigation were willing to do so. And according to Wilson, Pasco was the only one who stepped up for the job. So there's a lot going on right now. Wilson, of course, saying he will sign that investigation for it to go through, but he says he wants to find someone he deems fit to handle this investigation and to see it through. All right, Back Dave to you. Jordan, live with a pretty complicated story today. Uh, 